Same sex couples are celebrating tonight, although cautiously after a Dane County judge ruled the state's domestic partner registry does not violate the Constitution. And the night team's David Douglas joins us. He has more on the ruling today, David. Cautiously, Eric and Sarah, because the plaintiffs in the lawsuit challenging the registry do plan to appeal. But for one Madison couple, today's decision gives merit to their 30 year fight for equality. The recognition for couples like like us um, is huge. In the ocean or on the beach, for three decades, Crystal Heislop and Jenna Sizon have tackled every adventure together. Right down to the lawsuit challenging the domestic partner registry they were named as defendants in. It's become very obvious to us that there's a long road ahead of us to, for full equality. But for now, they're one step closer. In his ruling, Dane County Judge Daniel Moser said in order to violate the state's marriage amendment, the domestic partner registry would have to be, quote, substantially similar to marriage. He said it wasn't. Sizon says just look at the difference in the number of legal protections it offers. So we're talking marriage, 1,400 uh, legal protections for a couple versus 43 substantially dissimilar to anyone who looks at the facts. Julianne Appling, who heads Wisconsin Family Action, a plaintiff in the suit, says it isn't about legal protections, but legal status. If the uh, state removed all of the benefits that it has attributed to married couples tomorrow, those couples would still have a legal status called marriage. She says they'll appeal the ruling all the way to the state Supreme Court if they have to. As the first couple to sign up for the domestic partner registry in Dane County, Hazlop and Sizon are prepared for that, part of a long fight to have their rights recognized. And it's very significant and very important to have a little bit of legal backup. The decision does make mention that back in 2006, as the amendment was about to come before voters, Appling was quoted saying, it's just inflammatory rhetoric, end quote, that the amendment could prevent domestic partner benefits. Asked about that tonight, she told me by phone at the time she could not imagine a construct that would allow for a registry such as the one that exists today. Appling says she continues to believe the plaintiff's view is right, and this decision, she says, was made by just one judge. All right, the night team's David Douglas reporting tonight. David, thank you very much.